Hello everyone, welcome to Style of Living TV and my name is Melanie. A while ago in my previous vlogs, we were introduced to Asociación Cooperadores de la Institución Teresiana, in short, ASIT. This wonderful organization has been in the Philippines for such a long time and thank to them, I would like to say thank you to them because they introduced us to their mission in keeping the Christianity alive in our hearts. And today, this very special day, I have an amazing guest, a member of the ASIT. Let me tell you the background, a little background of my guest for tonight. He is an awardee of the 10 Outstanding Filipino Students, way back 1995. A Metro Bank Outstanding Filipino Teacher in 2015. Pag-asa Award of Civil Service Commission in 2016. Outstanding Volunteer of National Economic and Development Authority in 2018 which he considers inspiration and service to humanity in the grassroots. Wow, tremendous awards under his name. But I would like to give him the opportunity to introduce himself more to us. Let's give a virtual applause to Dr. Reggie F. Palmos. Hello, sir! It's a peaceful day to everyone. Isa ka mahida ito ng adlaw sa tanan-tanan. Thank you so much for being with me tonight. I consider this as a wonderful night. But just like what I said, I want the people to know you better. I want the viewers to know you better. So, sir Reggie, what are you currently doing now and where are you connected now? Please tell us. Uh, as of the moment, I am a faculty member of the College of Education of the West Visaya State University, Iloilo City, and currently the coordinator of the Center for Peace Education, who advocates a culture of peace through the academe, especially through education. And uh, I am also the chair of the Department of Psychology and Guidance and Counseling of the university. And I find this a humbling experience to be with you this day uh, as member of the ACIT or the Asociación Cooperadores de la Institución Teresiana, or in English, we will call it Cooperators of the Teresian Association, founded by St. Pedro Poveda. Hence, your background. Yeah, my background is... Uh, the uh, 13th Asset Assembly in 2021, just this year. And uh, at the background, you could see the picture of the founder, St. Pedro Poveda, and the La Santina, the Our Lady of Covadonga, which the uh, association was founded in Spain. Oh, that's amazing. Sir Reggie, you are a very busy person. Uh, yeah. Uh, as of the moment, because of the pandemic, we have ha we're having work from home. But uh, despite the busy schedule of the work from home, we always have to take time to be in prayer. The moment of silence where we draw our strength. You know, the Holy Eucharist, if we could not go to the church at the moment, we could watch on that uh, live stream or in the radio. Because the Holy Eucharist uh, is where we draw our strength as persons. We could not, uh, what we call this, we could not uh, expect coming it only from our own selves. But the Holy Eucharist and the Holy Scriptures would be a very good uh, source of our strength, especially in these times, the challenging times, as I could yes, say. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, um, how long have you been a member of the ASIT? Uh, actually, I started as an IT youth, the Institución Tresiana Youth, no, uh, way back in 1991 when I was in college 
uh, in West Visayas State University and is a member of the Catholic Youth Organization. Um, Ms. Emelda Sebastian, our advisor of the Catholic Youth Organization, introduced us to the IT youth. And from there, uh, we journeyed together to the youth camps, to the national and international youth days, And later on, after graduation to college, I still I still joined the IT youth. But there was a time already on the moment of reflection that uh, I would not be a youth member throughout my life. There is another call within the call. So I answered the, the call of the exit, no? the cooperators of the Teresian Association. Because there are two, there are two groups of members of the Teresian Association, which are integral. The first is the uh, the, the core group or the nucleo. Uh, they are the women who are fully committed in continuing the association, uh, the the continuity of the association. So they are they are they are having this what they call uh, entrega total. No, they 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 give everything, the commitment that they have. Uh, and the other group is the asset or the cooperators, which is composed of men and women, married, single, young people who would be the cooperators of the association. Both are members of the Teresian Association. So each one has a place in the Teresian Association. Bawat isa may lugar sa institusyon Teresian. Wow, that's wonderful. May, may we know? when that was you said about you you it told us about college way back in university me yeah that that was that was 1991 when i joined the it youth and i had my my i joined the asset in 1999 and and i had my commitment in the year 2000 the jubilee year wow. and it was a very memorable experience the jubilee year in time for your commitment Yeah. Mm. So you discovered that being a part of the asset was your calling. Yes, yes. Uh, it, it is really a humbling experience for me to to look into it and to uh, and to try to reflect into it the the call within that call, no, the call within the call of the the association. So um It's it's very special because uh, the call was within the call of being an IT youth. Then there's a call of being an asset member. So there was a progression. There was development. No? So we are answering the call in the specific state of life that we have, in the specific challenges that we are already facing. Because I was a teacher already in the year 2000. I was already a teacher by then. So it was a level up experience wherein you could evangelize not only with your classroom, with your family, but with the community also around you. So that is where we give ourselves, no? uh, being the salt and light of the world, no? the, where, where you are, where you are placed. Mm -hmm. So in the ordinary times, in the ordinary places, in ordinary circumstances of life, there you have to bloom and to carry out the evangelization in inspiration or in, with the inspiration of our founder with a style of mm -hmm. Saint Pedro Poveda. And the one that really admired then when I was still a student was the life of Blessed Victoria Diaz, the public school teacher. So she was really a turning point of my own vocation. I told myself, uh, because then I could always see that the saints being beatified and canonized were, were religious. And I saw that there was a lay person and there was a public school teacher for the first time. And it created really an impact in my own life that uh, in my own little way, I could do what she was doing. Oh, that's it. So it means Blessed Victoria Diaz actually um, moved you in your profession as a teacher. And you used your profession to manifest your calling. Yeah, because there were many similarities with me, with Victoria. She was a teacher in the public school. She was a graduate of the normal school in Spain, in Seville. 
she was an only child and there were so many commonalities my birthday is on november and her birthday was also november uh, that there was there were many connections so that was when i told myself that i think this is it this is what god is preparing me so victoria or blessed victoria was very instrumental and blessed victoria was a member of the teresian association who was very inspirational to many i think not only me i also know a little about her because i i had a chance to read her work and she was truly amazing so reggie as a teacher um don't you find it hard evangelizing your mission Um, first and foremost, Father Poveda would always tell us that joy opens up your hearts to others. That's the first thing. When you're a teacher, you have to be joyful. You have to make virtue attractive. And joy should be the very or the most important instrument of your apostolate. Your students and parents in the community would, they would, 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 would see you as a joyful person and you become attractive to them. That's very important. Um, once you get their trust, their confidence, now you try to start not only doing the academic work or the community work, but you're having to touch their own lives through the apostolates that you have. Actually, it's not really doing it directly, but by seeing you, they would see something different. And I think that is very important in the lives of the Teresian Association. Uh, you could be the salt where they couldn't see the salt, but they could taste it mm -hmm. and you could be the light to them in times of darkness and that is it uh, that is how i practiced really in my early years of life and i even remembered uh, when i was a school teacher for the first few years there was some question that i have a crucifix in my classroom and i would tell them that uh, I, i i always remember victoria telling us that if if we are at stake with the faith you know, we have to stand up and stood bravely for the faith and if the crucifix says will be removed then the teacher becomes the living crucifix says in the classroom that means you become the example that everyone could see so that is how oh. i live my teaching profession thank you sir thank you for that what is very important there is you the ingredient of love for each one whether they're catholic or whether they're non-Catholic, whether they are non-believers. So you have to treat them equally. So this is a very important task for us, uh, especially in the public school. Uh, I remembered I would facilitate the First Communion and I would start the first confirmation of the students. Uh, I was really amazed then of the life of Victoria being a catechist at the same time. And, I, and before I knew the Teresian Association, I was already a school catechist in our community or our community catechist way back when i was in the sixth grade in elementary so uh, i think it was a natural natural or an innate uh, characteristic for me i started early my my environment was was conducive for me to share and uh, it supported me a lot So I was able to give back. No, it's not. It's not. It's not what we call repaying kindness, but it was passing on something like that. In other words, you were born to to this road. I think I think the journey was there, no, prepared for us. But it's up for us to to choose the journey which we want to. My family is a family of teachers and a family of priests, no. Mm -hmm. I could have opt I could have opted to be a priest, no, like my cousins and my 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 nephews, no, at the same time. But I don't know what happened along the way. Uh, yeah, I have to tell honestly that. Uh, The, the, in the first few years when I was in college, there was this, there was that that spark of the priesthood you know, which I wanted to. But you know when I saw and I read the life story of, especially yeah, Blessed Victoria Diaz, there was really a a uh, what you call a spark in me that even if I am an ordinary person in the ordinary world, 
I could turn the ordinary circumstances into extraordinary ways by means of doing my own profession and my own vocation where I am placed by God. So something like that. Uh, there, there was that. Uh, there was a reflection time. There was also that. There was also that. Um, what they call this? This. There was also that um, ripple in my life. No? There was that ripple when God disturbed it no? by the waves around and by the ripples. But uh, in the end, it will be you and your God that would decide well on what is really for you. Yes. Although it also connects with risk. No? There are always risk. There are always risk. That's why I would always uh, advise and I would always have a time before with my nephews and my cousin priests would talk together and I would tell myself this is the vocation that I have and I have to talk to them I have we have dialogue no? we, we dialogue together so how are they now how's their vocation and I think that is my own role as a lay person inside the church no? the lay person inside the church that could be my role to support my cousins or in the priesthood because uh, from all we know it doesn't only mean uh, being supporting or being supportive of them during ordination but the most important thing is we have to support them even more after the ordination and mind you Father Poveda was a diocesan priest he was a diocesan priest just like many of our priests in our own archdiocese yes sir I do agree because after the ordination it is a time uh, where temptation is bigger the challenges are bigger and uh, you know the lifestyle would be different so we have to be a, uh, a reminder to them and that is my that is my role i think no aside from my school my family that is my role no? in preaching this the role of the lady with the church no it's not only the church no? but we have always have collaboration with the lady and the church it's very important so Reggie, how do you manage your time given the many roles that you, you um, are doing? Actually, it's, it's priority. No? It's, it's, a, it's prioritization. I always have my notebook with me and that is that would preserve your sanity. You would always have to manage your time, your task. You have to write it there. And if you have accomplished it, you have to check. No? And then you have to write again the next and the rest. That is managing it. No, But do not forget that you also have to enjoy you know, your life as a person that's why I live near the sea so every day I always go to the sea to breathe fresh air, to see the waves to, to feel the, 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 the what you call this, to feel the sand beneath my feet, the stones, the rest of that and you would always go back and tell that this is the creation of God prepared for me, you know you have to balance life Yes, thank you, sir. I need that. We need that time management and how to balance our time. And also in your case, you find joy in everything that you do. So I don't think you you ever do you ever get tired? Yeah, yes, of course. You have you 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 get tired also. There are also times when you want to give up, but you always have to remember that you have to rest, but you should not quit. No? Uh I they 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 the one that I saw in the social media, you need only four the, the, the four P's. If you're tired, you could you could pahua, you could rest for a while. Uh, um, P another P is pangamuyo, you could pray according to them. Another one P is pahuway, uh, uh, pangamuyo, pagkaon. Okay. You have to eat also and to nourish your body. And the last one is padayon. So you have to rest for a while, but you have to continue because by continuing it, you would see the efforts, the, the fruits of the sacrifices that you have made. So you, you nourish the body, you nourish the spirit. You, you That means you balance everything. That is very important. But you know, our coping would also be different from the coping of other people. So no pattern that is exactly the same for, yes. for a person. We all have, you know, we all have different roads to take. We all have um, crosses to carry. Wow, this conversation is so nourishing coming from a multi-awarded teacher. 
Thank you, sir. <laughs> Let's I, 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 I consider those awards only a secondary. But what is important is the real person that we are. We were, you know, awards would be passing. Awards would be, you know, would be just part of history later on. But what is important is in our lifetime, we were able to give the best that we have. And if we were not able to really succeed, we have the ability to forgive ourselves. It's very important. Yes. Yeah, because many of us, many of us uh, often think that we have to, to have perfect something like that. No, 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 no. Uh, if we could not do it in our lifetime, uh, let go and let God have it. What is important is we did our best. And from the best, we did not only benefit for ourselves. No, we did not benefit for ourselves. But with the whole humanity benefited also from us. That's why you always cling to prayer, no? Our for for those who are Catholics, no, our lady would would always be a a hand to guide us along the way. Because uh, in all humility, in all things of our life, we always have to hold on to God. And for those who are Catholics like me, we always acknowledge the role of the Blessed Mother. Oh, yes, yes. The journey with us. Yes, sir, that's true. So, Reggie, can can we know um, some of our viewers, of course, some of them, it's their first time to hear about the acid. Some of them might be familiar. So, as, as a non-member of the association, why should I join it? Why should I even consider joining? Uh, actually, it's not it's not really first joining, but you you try to discover first. You would try to discover and to try to be aware of what is it about. It's not just an ordinary organization like clubs and organizations, but as it becomes a way of life, a vocation later on. That's why we discover it in the fruits of our prayer, in the fruits of our dialogue, and in the fruits of our encounter. So if they know a member of a Tiritian association, an ASIT member, or a core member, they could they could talk and they could have a dialogue. That's a very important aspect of it. And if there are virtual activities, and later on if there could be face-to-face -face activities, uh, you could start to to integrate. That, that's all. My mga prayer sessions, uh, uh, fellowships. That is it. And later on, you could go deeply into it. No, hindi naman kasi pwede na pabigla bigla. It should be a gradual process. Kaya nga we call it also. There is what we call the process of discernment. No, a discernment process. Wherein you you try to situate yourself, try to look at the scenario, the situation, the environment. If it fits you, and uh, you will always feel no. The question is, how do I know if God calls me to this specific organization, to this specific association, to this specific institute? Uh, you would always you would also feel that there is always a feeling of that and the best way to know that is in the moment of silence and in the moment of prayer and later on the fellowship and dialogue with and uh, there could be also challenges in joining associations like this you know, because we are lay association we are not cloistered in a monastery we are not cloistered in a seminary or we are not in a convent because we are lay people by nature we stay with our family we stay with our work do you know these are there are many challenges more than the cloistered ones no so sila may challenge man sila may challenge man ang convent may challenge man ang seminary ang parishes and there's may challenge man but with us who are in the in the world no uh, there are a lot of challenges but you always have to anchor on the love of the Eucharist, the love of Mary, the love of the Church, no, and the love of praying the Scriptures, the Holy Bible, that would guide our way. I think that's very important that you would, later on we could discover. Oh yes, so Reggie, thank you so much. So is it safe to say that if the viewers out there, or if you know someone who might be interested, after listening to our talk? 
if you're interested in discovering, right, Sir Reggie? First is if you're interested in discovering what asset can offer or what you can give to, to the association, you may comment down below in the comment section because we will get back to you and someone will be with you in their journey, right, sir? Correct. This is very important because it's journeying together. Both the asset members and the core members are journeying together, especially to those who would like to know. And those friends, we call them the movement. No, uh, There is always an open communication, an open arm. And I would always repeat, there's always a place for everyone in the Tirishan Association. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Also, thank you so much. Everyone, I already told you what to do. If you're interested or if you know someone who might be interested, please share this video and let the word of mission. Who knows? You might be one of them. All right. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you yes. so much for watching. Bye-bye.